while some prefer function, other prefer form. What would it be like if uh, we could have both? Now, with Packtalk Slim, you don't need to leave much to imagination. Voted twice in a row as the world's best comp system, Packtalk Slim combines both the awesome power of DMC mesh intercom with a beautiful, super slick side unit that is only 6.5 mm thick. Given its aerodynamic shape, long list of capabilities, you could have been excused for saying this is both, uh, well, a beauty and the beast. But we're not here to repeat worn out Disney cliches, and besides, I left my ball gown at home. No, this video is about showing you all you need to know about Pack Talk Slim, including all the bells, whistles, tips and tricks. Sit back, relax, we're just about to begin. Reviews around the world called it the foolproof choice, the leader of the pack, the best motorcycle comp system in the world. The reason? DMC, dynamic mesh communication, an intercom technology that leaves all other Bluetooth communication systems of any brand far, far behind. Now, with Packtalk Slim, we're making that gap even wider. JBL Premium Sound, waterproof shell, the best app in the business, and to top it all, the world's first natural voice operation. Just tell it what you want and we'll do the rest. We will kick off this video with a quick unboxing of Packtalk Slim's packaging. Explore its main features and go over its revolutionary natural voice operation. We will guide you on how to install it on just about any helmet. And finally, go through troubleshooting, frequently asked questions and next steps. Ready to roll? Packtalk Slim comes neatly packed inside a compact box that includes either a dual or, in this case, a single set. Let's open it and see what's inside. Open the box by pulling the side flap. Beneath the cover, you'll find a foam holder containing either one or two Packtalks. Remove the holder to reveal a set of documents beneath it. You'll find a pocket guide, warranty and safety leaflet, and installation instructions, and also a little sticker. The bottom of the box contains either one or two accessory boxes. Inside of them, you'll find all the parts and fixtures you'll need to install the Packtalk on your chosen helmet. The box should contain a set of two JBL 40mm speakers, a hybrid boom mic for open-faced and modular helmets, wired mic for closed-faced helmets, a set of two speaker booster pads, USB cable, four Velcro stickers, two square and two rectangulars, back plates to attach the back unit, and two alcohol pads for cleaning. We'll explain how to use them later on. That's it, let's move on. Packtalk Slim is built of two main units, a back unit with an LED indicator and a side unit with three large, easily accessible activation buttons to control media, phone, and intercom. The bottom part of the side unit contains additional two volume buttons. Using these buttons, you can control and manipulate almost every feature of this unit. But there is a better way. Hey Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey Cardo, next track. Hey Cardo, volume up. Hey Cardo, battery status. Battery status, full. I think we're still good to go. Hey Cardo, music off. Music off. Let's continue with the tutorial. To turn your device on or to shut it off, press the media and phone buttons together. Now, let's go to the business of pairing. Packtalk Slim has two downward pairing channels for pairing up to two mobile devices, such as a mobile phone and GPS. On the upward side, Packtalk Slim can pair to a group of up to 14 other DMC-enabled devices, including um, Smart Packs, Pack Talks, Smart Age, and other Pack Talk Slims. It can also bridge in any Bluetooth-only device of any brand via a bridge functionality. Switching Pack Talk Slim to a Bluetooth-only mode will allow you to pair it with any other Bluetooth communication system via two intercom pairing channels. To pair a mobile phone, Press the phone button for about 5 seconds or until you hear the third beep. 
Mobile phone one pairing. On your mobile Bluetooth screen, search for PackTalk and pair it. Paired successfully. Pairing a second mobile device is, well, almost similar. Press the phone button for about five seconds or until you hear the third beep. Then double tap the phone button to switch it to second pairing channel. Mobile phone two pairing. Proceed with the pairing process on your mobile phone. For GPS, use the second pairing channel as I showed you previously. Mobile phone two pairing. And then tap the volume up button. GPS pairing. Continue with pairing process on your GPS. Now that we got that part covered, let's go and start using our voice. Just remember to say, hey, Cardo, for example. To activate music, hey, Cardo, music on. Music on. Hey, Cardo, volume up. Hey, Cardo, volume down. Hey, Cardo, next track. Hey, Cardo, previous track. Hey, Cardo, volume up. Hey, Cardo, mute audio. Mute audio. Hey, Cardo, unmute audio. Unmute audio. Hey, Cardo, music off. You can also use buttons. Click the media button to start music playing. Play with the volume. To move a track forward, press the media button. To go to the previous track, double tap the media button. Stop music by pressing the media button for two seconds. Now let's play some radio. Hey Cardo, radio on. Radio on. 88. Hey Cardo, next station. 91.8. Hey Cardo, previous station. 88. Hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, radio off. Radio off. You can also use the unit buttons for all radio function. To access radio via buttons, double tap the media button. 88. Then, like music, press once to move to the next station. 99. Or twice to move back to the previous one. 91.8. Perform auto scan by pressing the volume up button for two straight seconds. 93.5 Press the media button once to stop the auto scan process and press it again once to save the station. 93.5 Save Stop radio by pressing the media button for two seconds. To toggle between radio and music, you'll need to first stop the one before moving to the other. Got a phone call? Just say answer. Answer. No need to say hey Cardo. Want to ignore that call? Say ignore. But these are not the only things you can do with your phone. Want to initiate a call? Say hey Cardo, redial number. Redial number. If you happen to have an often used number, you can add it through the Cardo Connect app and just say hey Cardo, speed dial. Speed dial. Missing your smartphone personal assistant? Just call her name. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Call home. Calling home. Other. If you're using Android, just say OK Google. Both of them will require you to wait for the phone to beep and then ask whatever you want. Of course, you can do all these things using simplified button operation. Let's see how. To answer an incoming call, press any of the side buttons. To ignore an incoming call, quickly tap the volume up and the volume down buttons together and the caller would never know you had better things to do. If you'd like to share an active call with your writing group, press the intercom button. 
This function works in DMC mode. More details on that later on. To add an active call, click the phone button. To access your smartphone's personal assistant, click the phone button once. Don't forget to wait for the beep. What's the weather in Berlin? It's currently clear in 17 degrees in Berlin, Germany. Double click the phone button to redial a number. Tap it three times for speed dial. Now that we got that part covered, let's go to the very thing that separates all pack talks from the rest of the pack, the group intercom. I would like to first take you a little back in time, back to 2004, the year Carter Systems pioneered the motorcycle Bluetooth market with a unit called Scala Rider. We learned a lot during those years, and one of the things we learned was that well, Bluetooth as a technology has limitations. So in 2015, we decided to reinvent the market once more and introduced DMC, Dynamic Mesh Communication. Unlike other Bluetooth units, this DMC Pactox Slims create a living connection. It wants to make friends, it adapts. If a rider or to leave the group, all the other units will work together to leapfrog the signal and keep everyone connected. When those rider return to range, they are automatically connected. Simply put, DMC-powered Pactox Slim makes Bluetooth frustration a thing of the past. Just connect it once and forget about it. Pactox Slim will do the rest for you and don't worry about other Bluetooth devices of any brand. Pactox Slim will connect with them as well. We'll show you exactly how to do that later on in a tutorial, but for now, Let's make some connections. We'll use four pack talks for this example. It's the exact same process for two, three, or 15 devices. Make sure your pack talk slim flashes green. This means it is in the DMC mode. We'll explain more about this later. To set the group intercom, press the intercom button on all the group devices for five seconds or until you hear the third beep. Start grouping. All devices flashing, good. Now, press the intercom button once on one of the devices, which will now act as the group admin. Wait a few seconds for all the devices to connect. You can then wait for the admin unit to time out. Grouping success. Or stop the pairing process by pressing the admin unit intercom button for two seconds. Really, that's it. It will stay connected during the day and it will stay connected when you power the units back on the following day, the following week, or the following riding season. Now, let's say you want to change the group, uh, perhaps add a new member, no problem. Remember that admin unit? Activate the grouping on both the new unit and the admin unit by pressing the intercom button for five seconds or until you hear the third beep. Start grouping. When grouping mode is activated, Press the intercom button only on the admin unit. Wait a few seconds for the two units to group. Grouping success. Congratulations. You just increased your group from four to five. DMC is not an exclusive club. You can also bridge Bluetooth units into the DMC party. Let's see how. First step, pair the Bluetooth unit to your PackTalk Slim. Switch your PackTalk to Bluetooth mode by pressing the intercom and phone buttons together. Bluetooth intercom mode. Watch the LED light turn from green to blue. Please make sure music streaming is turned off before switching modes. Now, activate Bluetooth pairing by pressing the intercom button for five seconds or until you hear the third beep. Rider A pairing. Activate the other unit's Bluetooth pairing and let them pair. Paired successfully. PackTalk has universal pairing, which means you can pair it with any Bluetooth headset of any brand. More on universal pairing in the tip and trick section of this tutorial. Good, the two units are now paired in Bluetooth. Take the PackTalk unit and toggle it back to DMC mode. DMC intercom mode. Ensure the indicator light switches from blue to green. 
Back in DMC Group Intercom, click on that Intercom button. And your preset Bluetooth bridge is now part of the party. Please note that the bridged unit needs to be in close proximity. Bridging works best in a rider to passenger scenario. Now, let's explore some tips and tricks to enhance your group intercom experience. Having a long lost pal calling you, you can share that active phone call with the rest of the DMC group. Just press the intercom button while the call is active and get that person into the conversation. Like to share a tune with your passenger? Remember to do the previously described Bluetooth bridge first and then press the intercom button while that music is playing and you can both enjoy the same tune while at the same time chat with the rest of the riding party. But um, say you had enough of the group hassle and would like to sweeten a secret with someone special. Luckily DMC also hosts private chats with any selected member of the group. To activate, select the chosen member via the Carter Connect app. Then double tap the intercom button to toggle between private chat and group chat. Want some peace and quiet from the entire chatter? Press the intercom button for two seconds or until you hear the rolling beep to enjoy intercom free ride. Click on that button again for two seconds to unmute the group. For universal pairing, watch the universal pairing tutorial at the end of this video in the frequently asked questions, tips and tricks. That's it for now. To make the most out of your Pack Talk Slim, grab the pocket guide and look inside. Stay on top, the latest and greatest tutorials, tips and tricks and other great information. Subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Installing a motorcycle communicator on your helmet may seem at first a bit intimidating. Don't worry though, Pactock Slim is especially easy to install. Stay tuned for the next few minutes and I'll walk you through all stages of installations. No tools needed. Our first step would be to remove the inner cheek pads of your helmet to reveal the inner cavities inside. Once you located the ear cavities, take one of the alcohol pads and clean them thoroughly. You can also use a standard good quality wet wipes for that purpose. The cleaner the cavities, the better the results of the next stage will be. Speaking of the next stage, now that your helmet cavities are squeaky clean, it's time to install the square Velcros. Once installed, this will be the base on which you will attach the speakers. Grab one of the two square Velcros, remove the protection sheet and attach it to the base of the ear cavity. Repeat the process for the other cavity. Good. The ear cavities are all prepared. It's time to install your 40 mm speakers. Note that your speakers are not exactly the same. One is attached to a short cord, while the other one is much longer. I will use the short cord speaker on the right side and the long one on the left. I will start with the right side. Place the short cord speaker with the cord facing the neck pad. That was easy. Installing the left side speaker is just tiny less obvious. Don't worry. I'll walk you through it. We will start by removing the helmet's head padding and run the long speaker cord through the top of the inner side of your helmet all the way to the other side. This long cord also acts as your FM antenna for optimal radio reception. Attach the left side speaker, make sure the cords run through the top of the inner lining of the speaker to ensure best FM radio reception and return the padding. Now for a pro tip. Put the helmet on your head. Insert your index finger and feel the speaker location against your ear. The speakers should be placed exactly opposite your ear canal, barely touching the very center of your ear. If this is not the case, you would very likely experience reduced audio performance. As a matter of fact, 9 out of every 10 complaints we get about poor volume levels are simply results of an inaccurate speaker placement. Relocate the speaker location within the ear canal or in some cases even outside of the ear canal to ensure proper alignment. Now some of you may ask, how come? Why would helmet designer place ear cavities in all the wrong places? The fact is that helmet manufacturers have to design ear canals according to statistical anatomy of an average person. Well, 
not everyone is average. My own ears, by the way, are notoriously forward placed. If the speaker's location is good, but your helmet ear cavities are especially deep, you may want to use the supplied spacers to get them closer. Simply attach the spacer to the Velcro and place the speakers on top of it. At the risk of repeating myself, getting the speaker location right is detrimental. The closer they are to your ear canal, the better your sound experience will be. Okay, now for the microphone. Grab a rectangular Velcro, remove the protective film, and glue it to the base of the cheek. Grab the second rectangular Velcro and place it about five centimeters or two inches away towards the cheek opening. Use the supplied hybrid boom mic. Note the base, the middle clamp, and the yellow triangle near the base of the boom. Once installed, that yellow triangle will face your mouth. We'll get back to it shortly. Attach the base of the mic to the first Velcro and adjust the clamp to fit the second Velcro. Finally, adjust the boom to meet your mouth with the yellow triangle facing you. Great. Now that wasn't too difficult. Installing a microphone on a closed faced helmet, however, is even easier. Use an alcohol pad to clean the chin area. Grab a rectangular Velcro, remove the protective film and glue it to the chin area. Attach the corded mic and run the cord along the right side. Good, we're more than halfway done now. It's time to attach both parts of your pack talk slim. We will start with the side unit. Behind it, you'll find a flexible long clip. This clip should go between the helmet outer shell and the inner lining. Squeeze the side unit cradle firmly into its place with the clip pressing against the helmet inner shell until it's fully inserted. Depending on your helmet backside structure, install either the short or the long metal clamp into the pack dock back unit. Once firmly in place, squeeze the clamp between the helmet back shell and padding until secured fully in place. Now, let's connect all the speaker and microphone wires to their appropriate jacks and reinstall all the paddings to their original location. That's it, we're done here. Pactox Slim is one of the easiest, most straightforward units to install. All you need to do now is to power it up and enjoy the world's best comm system. Welcome to the tips and tricks section of our Pack Talk Slim tutorial. We got plenty in store, including upgrading your Pack Talk Slim firmware, extending the work life of your communicator, charge while you ride, activating universal Bluetooth intercom, solving low volume issues, solving microphone issues, and finally resetting your unit. Keeping your unit updated with the latest firmware is one of the best freebies in the business. Not only does a firmware upgrade keep your unit free of bugs and glitches, in most cases it will provide you with additional functionality for zero additional cash. Even better, we've made software updates super easy with the all new Cardo update software. Here's what you need to do. First, and if you haven't done so already, download the Cardo Update app from the Cardo website and register your unit. This is how you do it. Go to our website, click the Update tab and select your unit. Sign in using Google, Facebook or via an email and password. If you have previously signed to our now legacy Cardo community, you'll need to register again. Sorry. Continue to register your unit by entering its serial number. You can locate the serial number on the back side of your Cardo communicator. Download the Cardo update program to your PC or Mac and install it. You might be asked during the process to uninstall legacy versions of the Cardo updater. Please approve uninstallations of the old updater in order for the new one to function correctly. Good. Now that we completed this part, let's update the firmware. Open the Cardo update. Connect your unit via the provided USB cable. Once the unit is identified, Cardo Update will check the unit and let you know if a new version is available. If there is, Cardo Update will light up an update button. Press it. The firmware update process will now begin. Let it run and do not disconnect the unit until it's completed. Voila, easy peasy. Your brand new Pactox Slim comes with a brand new two year complete warranty. But at Cardo, we build our units to last way longer than that. How long? That also depends on how well you treat it. Here are two simple tips that will pay back in years of extended operation. First, 
make sure to fully charge your unit battery at least once every three months. This is especially important during off season where your cardio unit might be tucked away together with the rest of your riding gear in storage. Make a mental note to start the new calendar year with a full night charge of your stored unit. Charge it again on the first day of each and every quarter that follows. Second tip, treating your cardio unit well will reciprocate. Never ever yank the USB cord out of the unit USB port. Although we designed Pactox Slim to withstand much abuse, aggressively pulling, twisting or vectoring on the USB cable out of the port will eventually jeopardize your communicator integrity. Use only reasonable care when removing the cable out of its charging socket. Pull the cord gently and in line with the unit USB port to ensure its long-term reliability. Your Pactog backside battery should support up to 13 hours of talk time. But in case you need some more juice, you can also charge it while you ride. Simply connect your unit to a 12 volt power outlet or a power bank. Just power it back on and continue using it as it charges. DMC is the best, most powerful intercom technology out there, period. Uh, but what happens if you meet with your riding buddies and discover you're the only one with a DMC powered device? No worries. Packtalk also acts as a fully blown Bluetooth intercom. Let's see how. Toggle Packtalk to Bluetooth mode. Don't forget to check that indicator light turns from green to blue. Bluetooth intercom mode. Your Packtalk is now a Bluetooth intercom unit. Press the intercom button for five seconds or until you hear the third beep to start the intercom pairing on channel one. Activate Bluetooth intercom pairing on the other device and let the two pair. When paired, press the intercom button to open the intercom channel and again to close it. To pair another Bluetooth device on channel two, open the second channel pairing by pressing the intercom button for five seconds or until you hear that third beep, and then double tap the intercom button to activate a second Bluetooth channel pairing. Activate Bluetooth intercom pairing on the other device and let the two pair. When paired, double click the intercom button to open the intercom channel on the second channel and double tap again to close it. You can, of course, add more devices in this fashion, creating a long Bluetooth daisy chain. If you'd like to learn more about that, watch our four-way Bluetooth pairing video on the Cardo channel. Please note that this type of Bluetooth connection also applies for non-Cardo Bluetooth intercom. All Hectox units are equipped with universal connectivity, allowing you to pair them up with non-Cardo units of any other major Bluetooth brand. Here's how you do it. Enter universal connectivity mode by pressing the intercom button for five seconds or until you hear the third beep. Then press the phone button. Your unit is now ready to pair with any other non-cardo unit. On whichever non-cardo device you use, start mobile phone pairing. This way you can pair a Sina paired successfully. or an Interphone paired successfully. or a Midland paired successfully. or any other brand you fancy. Picture this, you've just completed installing Pactox Slim on your much beloved helmet and taking it out for a spin down the road, you can't help noticing that the sound experience is, uh, well, somewhat disappointing. It seems almost as if someone muted the sound experience. Has Cardo skimped on volume? Can the issue be resolved? Let's work this one out. To start, Pactox Slim comes equipped with the best sound system in the business, courtesy of JBL. The system contains not just super high definition JBL 40mm speaker, but also includes top of the line music processors tuned to perfection at JBL Sound Labs in Los Angeles, California. In fact, Pactox Slim's sound system is really only limited by standard health and safety regulations. In plain words, Pactox Slim sound by JBL system is not only great, but it's also loud. But to get the most out of it, your JBL speakers must be placed correctly with the epicenter directly facing 
your ear canals, like this. You may be excused for thinking placing the speakers in the center of your helmet ear cavity would do the trick. But unlike mass-produced helmets, each person's ear location is slightly different. Your helmet designated speaker cavity may not match the location of your ear. This is how you solve the issue. Put your helmet on and try to slide a finger inside to see if the speaker's location are correctly placed with their center opposing your ear canal. You would want the speakers to be as close as possible to your ears without being obtrusive and uncomfortable. Adjust the location of the speakers accordingly, placing them out of the helmet designated ear cavity if you must to ensure best sound experience. You're talking over the phone or with your buddies uh, through the intercom system and they tell you they can hear you very well. Perhaps even can't hear you at all. While microphone failures can seldom happen, the vast majority of cases are much easier to fix. If you're using a boom microphone, have a quick look at the yellow triangle near the base of the boom. It should face your mouth. If it's not, correct the positioning accordingly and see your problem is solved. Sometimes you just need a reset. And so does your unit. A full factory reset is done by pressing the front three buttons for five seconds. Your unit will flash purple and then turn off. That's it. Still have questions or unresolved problems? Be sure to check out our comprehensive support page on our website. You'll find vast resources of additional frequently asked questions, videos, manuals, and link to our technical help desk. Until then, enjoy your ride and be safe.